Hello and welcome to Miss Achieves Math Tutorials. Okay, today we're trying to find out the nth term of sequences. Alright, so we'll start off with a linear one and work our way up to a quadratic one. Alright, so we need to find out the first difference of this sequence. So 6 to 8 is 2, 8 to 10 is 2, 10 to 12 is 2 and 12 to 14 is also 2. Now we know this uh, is a linear sequence because there is only one difference. So, the first part of the nth term is 2n because it's only one jump. Now, the 2n sequence is just a 2 times table, which is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And then we need to find out the difference between the 2n sequence and the original sequence. So I'm writing it underneath just to make things a bit easier. And then with plus 4, plus 4 plus 4, plus 4, and we plus 4, alright? Then basically, we just put it all together that we found out, and the nth term of this sequence is 2n plus 4. Woo, done that one. Okay, now, uh, quadratic, a bit harder, but doable. So, find the first difference just the same. Uh, 9 to 18 is 9. 18 to 31 is 13, 31 to 48 is 17, and 48 to 69 is 21. Alright, so because they're not the same number, we need to find out a second difference. Uh, 9 to 13 is 4, 13 to 17 is 4, and 17 to 21 is 4. Now because there is two, uh, two jumps, two second differences, we divide the 4 by 2. It's just a maths rule. Um, so it'll be 2, and because it's quadratic and because there are two um, jumps, it's n squared. Now that's the first part of the nth term of the sequence. Now the 2n squared sequence is 2, 8, 18, uh, 32 and 50. Now, we do the same as like we did before, this to that. So right underneath, just to make it uh, simple. Uh, we see what the um, difference is, so plus 7, plus 10, plus uh, 13, plus 16 and plus 19. Now because these numbers aren't the same either, we need to find a difference between these. Now 7 to 10 is 3, 3, 3 and 3. Now because we have had to do a difference, that is 3n. Now the 3n sequence is just the 3 times table, which is 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. Now if we add the 3n sequence to the 2n, sequence, uh, 2n squared sequence, we'll get what we've got so far. So 2 plus 3 is, we'll write over here, 5. 8 plus 6, 14. 18 plus 9, 27. 32 plus 12, 44 and 50 plus um, 15 is 65. All right, now we write out the original sequence underneath like we have been doing. Just like that. And find out what the difference is to end this all. So 5 to 9 plus 4, 14 to 18 plus 4, plus 4, plus 4, plus 4. Brilliant. Now, write it all out. And that is the nth term sequence. Now, if you want to check that, you can. Um, you don't have to, but it is always good to check in an exam. So just use a number, so the number, and um, you can find out if it's right. I won't do that because I know it's right. Little maths joke for you now, just to end the session of Miss Achieve's maths tutorial is, it's not the summer holidays yet, but I already have a tan.